Hi, my name is Parker, and I'm one fourth of MapU, uh, the team that aims to make indoor navigation on the University of Utah campus easy. So let's meet the team. So from left to right, we have Josh, myself, Keon, and Skogan. We're all seniors, obviously, studying either computer science or software development. And we're super excited to present our work to you today. So let's first talk a little bit about the problem that we're trying to solve. So let's say that you're a freshman at the U, it's your first day of classes, and you're a little lost. You know, you're, you can't even find uh, the building that you're looking for, let alone finding the, the, the room inside of the building that you're looking for. Okay, now imagine you're just a local, uh, Salt Lake local, and you're visiting the U, and you too are lost. You're, you're trying to attend a, an event on campus, and you, you just can't find where you need to be. And then lastly, just imagine you're a professor uh, at the University of Utah, and you have a meeting in a building on campus that you've never been to before, and again, you are lost. Common theme here is people getting lost specifically on campus. So, you know, this issue has, you know, in part already been partially solved um, first by Google Maps, you know, um, navigation has, you know, been definitely solved um, in a way by Google Maps. And then on the University of Utah campus, uh, the university itself has a web app where you can do this navigation from building to building. And so, you know, this takes care of sort of, okay, I need to find a building but what happens when you try and go inside of that building and you become lost once again, trying to find that room that you're looking for? That's where MapU comes in uh, to help you out with that. And so our solution is indoor navigation to complete this whole navigation experience to solve this entire problem. And so here's a little teaser at what we'll see in a second once I demo the project, but basically you can choose a start a uh, point in a building and you can choose an endpoint and it'll take you there. It'll give you directions, show you the route. It will we'll even show you sh some imagery uh, similar to Google Street View, uh, 360 degree uh, sort of images. So you can see what it kind of looks like at this point in the building. So with that being said, let's get right into our demo. So this is what our homepage looks like. When you go to our website. So as you can see, we have this map of campus that you can kind of scroll around on and zoom in and out of. And then as you can see, there are some markers here on the map that indicate uh, buildings that are mapped on campus. So you can navigate inside of these buildings. So if I click on one of these markers, it'll show me uh, you know, an image of the building, uh, the name of the building, and then I can visit that building or uh, what I can do is I can find a building using the search bar. So I could type in, say, Warnock Engineering Building, and it'll pop up here. Um, so once I found the building that I want to navigate inside, I can go ahead and click on that and then hit search or enter. It'll take you to this view. As you can see, we have this floor plan of the building, and I can sort of zoom in and scroll around and take a look, a closer look. Uh, I can go up and down floors. And most importantly, I can actually, you know, navigate inside uh, this, uh, this building here. So uh, one of the ways that I can do that is I can hover over, you know, any one of these sort of points here. And, you know, some will have a, a name, some won't. Uh, every room should have a name. And so let's say, you know, I'm in this room right now. I'm in 2230, this lecture hall. And let's say... That'll be our starting point. And I want to go to, uh, let's say, this room over here, right? So I'll click that, and then it'll take me uh, to that place. It'll give me uh, this route here um, outlined in purple. And then I have these navigation steps here that I can sort of mark off one by one. And as you can see, uh, this red sort of highlight is moving to the point that you're now on. So it's kind of like you're navigating from point to point. And I can go ahead and uh, finish that out. 
Uh, another way that we can navigate and probably a more useful way of navigating is by using uh, these search bars up here. So I can select a starting point um, out of these options. Let's say I wanna start at an entrance to the building. So let's do the East Main entrance. And then my destination, let's say I wanna do uh, the Cade Lab on campus, which is where a lot of our, uh, a lot of us computer science students hang out to get our work done. So let's do that. And if I click on find route, It'll hop to my starting point here. And then as you can see, uh, this looks a little bit different from the previous uh, routing where it was just on one floor. Now this route takes up multiple floors. And so you'll see this first sort of leg of my route takes me from this point all the way to this nearest staircase here. And then if I click on this down arrow indicating that I'm going down a floor, It'll take me to the next leg of my route going down that staircase and then out onto this floor where the Cade Lab is. And then as you can see right here is our end destination, uh, the Cade Lab. And so uh, another thing we can do is uh, find accessible routes, but for the sake of time, we won't go into that. You can also view uh, 360 images at certain points. And this is what it uh, looks like at that point. All right. So that's pretty much it on the navigation side of things. But let's say you're a developer for this, uh, this app, right? So previously, you know, we were looking at, okay, what if you're a new student and you're trying to find a room? Uh, what you just saw is exactly what you would uh, sort of do in our app. But let's say you're a developer. Um, so I can go back to search and uh, you can log in. So if I log out real quick, and then log in. Now you can see I have this creator mode button, which I didn't have before, but now I can go ahead and click on that creator mode button. And then what we can do is sort of construct our, our mapping here. So I can add different points around here and I can connect them as well. And sort of, you know, create this uh, mapping that uh, we saw uh, on the navigation side of things. Um, I can also select these points and give them names and such. So I could say, this is a room and let's zoom in. Let's see, that's gonna be a 1155 looks like. I can do 115 or I can just do 1155. Sweet. Um, I can say it's a room by changing this type here. So if I instead do room instead of hall, um, I can actually move it a little bit. So let's say I want it a little bit to the left. Let's do that. And then I can go ahead and choose a 360 image. I won't do that right now, um, but let's save this. Moved over a little bit, a little bit too far. So let's go back to 350, right, perfect. And then I can, uh, you know, delete uh, loose nodes or edges. So let's go ahead and delete this guy right here. And then finally, what I can do is uh, save. Uh, so previously I was saving locally, but now I, I wanna save to the actual database. All right, so that was a quick demo of uh, our app. And now I wanna talk a little bit about uh, the technical side of things um, in case you're interested. So for our backend um, of our app, we used uh, the Django web framework. Uh, it's written in Python. And then our, on our front end, you know, the typical uh, JavaScript, uh, used mostly vanilla JavaScript, but a little bit of jQuery as well. Our database is a SQLite database, which is the uh, sort of default database that comes um, integrated with Django, which made things really nice for us. And then a little bit of uh, statistics about how, how much work we ended up putting into this um, project. So we closed uh, 108 GitLab issues, um, over 244 commits. That's a lot of work we put in over this uh, past couple of semesters. Uh, and then a little bit of note, we, uh, a little note on feedback. We got feedback from 15 users. Um, for students or friends, family, that sort of thing. And then in conclusion, we hope uh, this app really helps people um, navigate uh, around campus inside of buildings um, as that you know is lacking uh, with the, the use app as well as Google Maps. So we're, we're hoping that uh, we can really help out with that indoor navigation aspect of the holistic navigation process. Uh, thank you so much for, for watching. Mm -hmm.